So today is going to be a little bit different. I want to focus on a game that I've probably spent thousands of hours playing with my brother and my friends. It's also a game that I haven't played in a really long time. When I say a really long time, I'm thinking about 14, 15 years I haven't played this game in person. So why haven't I played this game in person? Well, there's a really good reason for that. And that's because my deck was stolen. My deck, my cards, everything that goes with it just vanished straight out of my house. I found myself looking out for somebody that was going through hard times. And I told them, you know, get on your feet and do what you got to do and, you know, do what you got to do for yourself. And I guess they took that to heart and they really did what they had to do for themselves, you know? <laughs> anyway, of course, I didn't realize that right away. I got a bunch of things. It took me a minute to figure it out, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. But now here's the dilemma. So I have a neighbor that's, you know, becoming a friend and we were talking about things and he was like, yo, you play Yu-Gi-Oh? And I'm like, yo, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh actually. He's like, yo, you want to play? And I was like, yo, I would love to play, except I don't have a deck. So now I'm hot. So what I want to do today is I want to try to recreate my original stolen Yu-Gi-Oh deck with newer reissued cards. And I want to do that without spending more than $100. I am only interested in the original Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now, when I say original, I'm talking about the ones that were on the cartoon. You know, everything leading up to probably the God cards and right around there, that's my era. When you start talking about 5D and Synchro Summons and uh, Pendulums, I'm off that. That's after that. You know what I mean? I'm talking about original cartoon-based Yu-Gi-Oh. That's my era. I'm looking for those nostalgic cards, the ones that made us play out those cartoons on our mom's kitchen table. Like when he slaps the card down, you're like, whoa, not so fast. You just activated my trap card. That feeling, those cards. So some examples of what I'm looking for would be like Brigade Key, Harpy's Feather Duster, Imperial Order, Injection Fairy Lily, Yada, those era of cards. You see where I'm going with this? I do not care about a ban list. We don't play like that. Me and my peoples, if you have the card in your possession, you can run that card. That's it. I do not care about value. I am not trying to sell these cards. I am not trying to make a dollar. I don't care if they reissued, if they're common, if they're hollow, if they're limited, if they're first. I don't care about none of that. I'm just trying to get these cards in my possession so I can slap them on the table. We on the same page? So my purpose today is to try to recreate my original nostalgia deck or get as close to it as possible. And I want to do it without going over $100. Then I want to see if you guys think that this deck will hold up against the competition being my friends or maybe anybody I come across that's playing today with this classic deck still be over the whole weight. Remember, we're not trying to go over $100. This is probably something that's going to go in the closet, that's going to come out once, maybe twice a year, and that's about it. So we're not trying to blow an arm and a leg on this. You know what I mean? This is for nostalgia purposes, just to have it there, just to whip it out. That's it. I do not know what type of deck is going to be. Currently, right now, online, I run a, I run a rod deck. You know, that's my thing. I would love to recreate my rod deck, but I don't know if I'm going to get all the supporting pieces or characters or cards that I need to make that rod deck official. Because running a god deck is hard, so rather have supporting cards for it, am I going to get all those cards? If I could get those cards, that's what I want to do. If not, we're going to have to freestyle and see what it is that we can make happen. I am just trying to make the best deck possible with $100. So with that being said, this is how I spent that $100. I mean, first and foremost, we really can't do nothing without a deck box. We need a deck box. I found this at Walmart for $5. It has the 50 sleeves inside, and it also has the official hardcore plastic case. So, you know, we, we got to protect our cards. So, I had to get one of these. Underneath that, we're just going to have to go right to the UGO box right here. So, this is going to be the restarted decks inside. So, I looked it up. It's going to have the Joey deck, it's going to have the Kyber deck, it's going to have the Yugi deck, it's going to have the God cards, and I believe it's going to have Exodia. But more importantly, what I'm looking for is the spells and the traps that come with each of those characters, right? So I'm hoping it's going to have some of those pivotal spells and traps, plus I need my Ra. So that's a good way to get that. So this is three starter decks in one. I'm thinking I can just cannibalize all of these decks and take the best out of each one and start making a really good deck. So let's see if that goes. I got this for $25. It's on sale right now. So $25 plus the $5 for the case, we had 30 
I got these two structured decks right here from my local comic shop, uh, not too uh, far from me, and they had them on sale. They were going for $10 each. Actually, I got these two plus a box of Legendary Duelists for $30. It gave me everything. I bought everything in the same spot, so it was $100. So $10, $10, and $10, $30, I'm thinking that this Trap Chicks could really help me because it has some of the pivotal uh, magic and traps that I need. And I think that this uh, structured deck is going to help me if I'm really trying to bring out raw. They didn't have the raw structured deck, so I couldn't get it. But I got Obelisk. So, hey, if it works for one, it could probably work for the other one. These three right here, $30. So we got 30 on the side already. We got another 30 right here. We had $60. I just happened to find this on sale as well. I don't really know what's inside of it. It says it has some guy car related stuff. It's a 10. It's $15. And I felt like, you know what? I'm trying to build a rod deck if I really could. So let's see if I could just smash this with the other one together. The collector 10 looks good, but only if inside is good. That's what really counts. So we had $15 right here for this. We had $75 altogether. How did I spend the last $25? On um, booster packs. I mean, come on, we got to open some packs. That's what made me feel good when I was younger, when I was opening up these packs, trying to see if I found a secret rare or found a hollow, found something. So I found four Pharaoh Servants and four Invasion of Chaoses. I was looking for Spell Ruler and I was looking for um Metal Raiders. He was out of it. So whatever. This is it. I spent $3 a pack on these. $99. I mean, come on. This is how we spent $100. Let's see if it's going to be fruitful. All right, we're going to have to start with the deck building with the structured deck. I'm guessing we're going to have to start off with the main box to see what the deck is going. So let's see what's going on with this box. Let's see what it gives us. Let's see how far we can get with uh, this box alone. It has the three decks, but, you know, I don't know what does that really mean. <sighs> let's figure out what we got. This is a nice box i'll tell you that much at least all of these things have nice boxes and they look good this is nice all right what is this oh it has a couple of cards in here let's see what's going on with these three dark burning attack dark burning magic if you control monsters okay and a turtle soul I was playing somebody online with this the other day. He was trying to use this. I had to whip out Jinzo for him. But, yo, it's never bad to see foil cards, man. This is good already. All right, let's put these to the side. Just go right to left, I'm guessing. Just go right to left. Let's see what we got here. Blackstone Legend. Return of Red Eyes. That card is looking good. Red Eyes Flare. Can't say that I've ever used these, but I'm definitely going to look into them because I know they've amped up these uh, Red Eyes decks since I was playing. Oh, the old school Axe Ray. That's what I'm talking about. Baby Dragon. Remember with Genzo. Goblin Attack is always a good look. Gear Free. Time Wizard. How many times did he save the day in the show, right? Dark Command Knight, but Red Eyes Fusion, Salamandra. Remember when he used to use this? Yo, Scapegoat. This was a foil in the original starter deck. I remember that. Mystical Space. Man, that used to be a staple. I know a lot of things have changed, and I know that a lot of these cards, Call of the Haunted, I need this Torrential Tribute, powerful card. I know a lot of things have changed, like I was saying. Oh, tokens. We never used to have tokens. We used to have to put like pennies or like paper clips or something like that. So this is a breath of fresh air. I like this token right here. All right. So, so far, I can already see a bunch of cards that I'm going to cannibalize from this deck right here. Let's see what's going on with this. I think this is Yuji's deck right here. It has the God cards. Definitely has Slifer. I hope all of them have the gold for on the top, especially Ra. Because I'm not going to use Slifer. Oh, yeah, that makes it a whole bunch. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that makes it a whole bunch easier. Oh, yes, they do. Slifer. Obelisk. Wing Dragon. Ra. Oh, Legendary Exodia Incarnate. 
obliterated. A complete Exodia. Man, I mean, it's not foil or nothing, but still, man. Just to have it in the binder, just to remember. Like, yo, remember this guy? Exodia Necros. Dark Magician. Buster Blader. Buster Blader was a problem if you ran a dragon deck. I remember that. I used to run a dragon deck, and I used to whip out Buster Blader. And he was a problem, man. Last Magician. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I mean. Marshmallow. Sangin. Yeah. Swords of Revealing Light. These are the cards that I'm checking for. Contract with Exodia, probably not going to use that. Monster Reincarnation. These are the cards that I'm looking for. Mirror Force. These are the classics. Magical Magic Cylinders. Okay, we're doing great. Gravity Bind. Another token. Yo, I like these tokens. All right. You know what? I'm starting to get excited. I'm starting to feel like I just might be able to put together a classic deck. And I'm going to run a 50-card deck. So let's see what happens. Online, surprisingly, I run a 65 card deck online. And I'm platinum, I'm telling you. So let's see what happens. Um, you know, I only got 50 sleeves though, so I think that's what's gonna limit me. For, for the meantime, I only have 50 sleeves. Oh, this is already gonna be a dragon. This is Kaiba right here, right? Maiden with the blue eyes. This is a tough card. Melody of Awakening Dragon, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Yo, am I the only one when this just came out? Like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, I like how they have all three artworks, all three different ones. I've had all of these at some point or another. I think I used to run this middle one the most. Dragon Spirit. I apologize about the cars, guys. I live in the city. You know what I mean? I do not live in the country. I'm not one of those guys. Master of Eyes of Blue, Battle Ox. I mean, some of these guys are just nostalgic. Like, I'm not going to run a 1700 attack, 1800 attack, but it's good to have them force rate a 1900. I will throw him in there. I mean, yeah, man, I'm starting to get nostalgic feelings right now. Just going through these cards. Komodo Dragon, King of the Swamp, good for the polymerization. I mean, not for nothing. This is a pretty good start, enemy controller. We can go a couple different ways so far. Um, you can go with any guy card. You can build a dragon deck so far off top. And I negate attack. Oh, man. And these are classic cards. Like I said, these are the ones I grew up with. These are the ones I started playing. So these are the ones I want. Oh, wow. Yes. You know they're older because they haven't written so many words that you need to get special glasses to read them. Because now they're putting like essays in here. Another token. Yo, I'm liking these tokens, man. They did not have these when I was coming up, man. We had to use paper clips. That's a lot better than a paper clip. All right. So we got three decks out so far. I'm feeling like, yo, we can make something happen. I'm really feeling that way. All right, let's put these back in here. No particular order. We're going to come back for these later. See what's going on. All right. Since we're doing Pharaoh stuff, let's just move forward to this 10. Got it for $15. I really don't know what's inside. Um, it says it's gonna complement God cards. I'm trying to run a rod deck. Let's see, is this gonna work? I don't know. What is going on with this? Oh. All right. So three mega packs, 2022, 10 of the Pharaoh gods. All right, there's nothing else in here. I mean, the tin looks nice, though. I would rather get this tin than get, like, a structure box, a structure deck. And I like how it's seamless. I know that it read that if you had the other ones, you can you can link them up. I don't have the other ones. But this is nice. It's nice to have this. All right. Matter of fact, this is what we got. Let's open this one first. I haven't opened cards in years, guys. You can tell. All right. Arm Dragon Blitz. Can't say I know what this is. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to read a lot of these cards, especially the newer ones, to see if they can fit. That Pendulum Treasure, Book of Lunar Eclipse, Radiant Borescence, Soul Energy Max. Abyss Keeper, Ruddy Rose Dragon. All right. Well, 
I'm gonna have to read these. And obviously I'm not gonna do it on camera with you guys, but I'm gonna see what's going on. These are nice cards though right here. Not sure if this is gonna help what I'm trying to do. This is not really helping me with my classic deck. Let's see if we keep digging. Pendulum, guys. I hate pendulum cards. Ultimate flagship. Flow and freeze. Okay. Yes. I even though this is this is a a newer card, I play with him in the game. This is a good card to have. This is a good card to have. Okay. All right. Looks like so far, he's the star of the show. And even if he doesn't go on my deck, he'll look good in my binder. All right, last one for the Pharaoh cards. All right. Mm. Not seeing nothing I'm really interested in. Out of prosperity, maybe. All right. Not too pissed off. It's 15 bucks for the box. Ah, am I really happy about these cards? Not really. I mean, this would be the start of the show right here. And he's not from the classic deck. So now I'm starting to like, I do want Ash Blossom and Maxi. But like I said, I'm trying to stick to classic. So let's see what's going on. We got these guys. Maybe I could do something later. I don't know. I feel like out of the 100, already 15 is not going towards my classic deck. So, ugh. I don't know how close I'm going to get, guys. Let's do this. Let's open up a Egyptian God deck, structured deck, all right? See if this is going to help us with anything that we got going on for my raw attempted raw deck. Let's see if I can come up with an attempted raw deck. Obelisk. Man, I've got a lot of God cards. I can tell you that much. Obelisk. Soul Crossing. Fist of Fate. All right. These cards are going to help me with my raw deck. I can tell you right now. Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> now, this is the one of the ones that I was checking for. I need Nimble Moman Momanga. I need these three. Get the thousand. They bring the other two out. Cyber Dragon. All right. This deck is going to help me way more than the 10. I can tell you right now. Just off the Harpy's Feather Duster. Rise Disciple. These are the three guys I use to bring out my Ra. But you can only use them for a guy card, I believe, or for Ra. A Mass Dragon, Nimble Beaver. Hmm. Brain Control. Okay. Monster Reborn. This is what I'm talking about. I need a Monster Reborn. Ah, man. Call it a haunted. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to feel. What are these? Advertisements. Oh, it's for the game. Yo, Master Duel. Yo, this is what I do online. Yo, you need to play that, man. I'm platinum. Come see me. All right. This deck cost me 10 bucks. This structure deck. And I feel like I could start getting my rock going between the original box that has the three decks and this one. I'm feeling like we're getting there. It's not everything. We have a lot of things we got to get, but I feel better than I did with the last 10. Since we're on a structured decks, this is something new right here. And I had to look this up and I watched another Yu-Gi-Oh! channel just to see what I should be getting. And Trap Tricks has a couple of cards that 
I would rather get from the structured deck than take my chance trying to pull them out of packs, right? So let's see what's going on. I just learned that this existed the other day just when I was looking for a certain card. And it's like, oh, you can find that in Trap Tricks. You better off just trying to get it there. This is a structured deck. Let's see what the structured deck got. And I'm not too, like I said, I don't know a lot of the new cards. So some of these, I'll just read them later, but they do look nice. This looks nice. Always good to get hollows. Trap Tricks. But we all know what I'm looking for. Classic cards. Classic cards. And these, I mean, you know, the structure deck is trap tricks. But where are you, where you at? Come on, man. Give me something. Ash Blossom. Okay, she is not a classic card. But you know we cannot get away these days without having an Ash Blossom. You need three of those in your deck, man. You need three of those and probably like a couple of maxis to make it happen because these guys are relentless with the summons. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Brigade Key, another Harpy's Feather Duster. Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole. That's what I'm checking for right there. Brave Diggers, Phantom Knights. All right, I'm going to have to read a lot of these cards. Bottomless Trap Holes. I need those. Trap Hole. Harpy's Feather Duster. I did not know it was going to come with Obelisk. Now I got two, and I believe the other one was Hollow, right? Reggae Key, come on, stop playing. This is classic right here. And the Ash Blossom, even though she's new school, she's going in my old school deck because it's just one of those cards that's that important. So you know what? We're going to save the... We'll save the individuals for last. Let's go with the next box right now. How about that? I have never opened one of these boxes. So I don't know what's inside. I know it's a Legendary Duelist box from Season 3. Um, I was telling him what I was interested in the store. He made it seem like he was sitting on these for a long time. Not for nothing. He was surprised that I was even buying Yu-Gi-Oh. He was like, wow, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, first of all, I never had an official Yu-Gi-Oh! die. That's crazy. So, we used to, like, run around stealing the Monopoly dice or looking for anything. My brother used to have one dice in his uh his deck box. For all I know, that was a trick dice. Now that I think about it, it always rolled whenever he did it. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, this is dope. This is dope. And, you know, as a collector, you want things like this. Wow, I never had this. Yeah, I feel like if I would have had this earlier, my brother wouldn't have won as much as he did, you know, looking back now. But this is dope. I like this. I had no idea it was coming in there. I fully appreciate this. So let's put this right there. What else do we got here? All right. So we got two packs and we have this card, which I don't know what it is. Looks like one of the newer cards. I don't know. I guess anything could be new for me because I'm kind of old school with it. So we got this card going on. Try to plant. Three Dark Monsters. I'm going to have to read it later, but we got that going on. At the very least, I have a binder. My binder is going to look lit. All right. Which one? Do this one. All right. Evil Hero. Mm. Not too impressed. Senses of Doom, Quick Draw Synchron, Miracle Fusion, Moon Dragon, Spirit Message. Oh, man. Remember that? Remember when we had Yugi in the Shadow Realm? When that Spirit Message came out? Taking up all the spells and traps, Junk Converter, Evan High Magician, Dark Magician Girl. Okay. In a, in a hollow, too. Stop playing. Predator Plant, that sounds like, oh, okay, that's the other one. Skyscraper, Magician's Rod. I mean, this is not bad. I could, If I was running a Dark Magician deck, especially I got Dark Magician Girl, and a Hollow 2 at that, oh, man, this is looking good. Depends which way I want to go, though, because if I'm, if I'm not going to do a Dark Magician deck, then maybe not. But it, but I would still want to have it in the binder anyway. You know, you know, we collect things anyway. So even if it's not on my deck, if I have it in the binder, like I could use a... I'm happy with that. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Another quick draw synchron. That sucks. 
not going to use the first one, Flash Hero. Spirit Message Eye, another Predator Plant. Fire Ant, Oversaw, Evil Hero, Necron. Magician's Rod. Man. All right, so we're going to put these on the side. I mean, the Dog Magician Girl stuff, but at, at this point, the reason I like this card, this like nostalgia reasons, I'm not going to put it on my deck probably. I've never ran a Dark Magician deck in my life, but I respect it. So let's see what's going on. Let me put this one. Oh, man. Yo, the dice, though. Come on. This is dope. This is dope. All right. All right I need that. All right. Guys, we are down to the nitty gritty. This is it. We need something to come from these eight packs right here. Can I pull something? Like, I need to pull... I haven't seen a secret rare yet, right? Have I? Maybe one of those um fusion cards. But let's see. You know what? Let's just start with Invasion of Chaos. I remember these cards, even if it was even if they were throwaways. Remember him? I remember him. All right, nothing too crazy there. What else we got? We got to post something, man. We got to post something. We're going to stay positive, man. This is bringing me back to when I was a kid, and I was like, man, I never get nothing. Smashing ground. Enraged Battle Ox. That's dope. Uh-oh. One. Okay. Another one for a Dark Magician deck. I mean, I may be forced to do a Dark Magician deck based on the cards I get if I get enough support cards. If I get enough of them, I'm going to have to build the, the best deck possible. Like, the last thing I want is my neighbor to come through and just smoke me, especially if he's just dusting off the cards after, like, 15 years, and here he comes catching a quick victory. We can't have that going. Spirit of Potagree. What happened to Potagree? I need Potagree, yeah, man. Pot of greed. Oh, Drilago. Griffin's Feather. Does nobody want that? Chaos Necromancer. All right. Oh, man. Is it possible to get this done with $100, man? Because, yo, jeez. All right. What else we got here? Mad Dog, I take it. Oh, Nature's Wide Release. All right. I had a Beast deck that looks pretty good. Mad Dog's probably, that's a card I would use for an attack. It is hard to pull these cards. Let's see, man. Pharaoh's Servant. Let's see if we have any better luck with Pharaoh's Servant. You know what I mean? Shadow of Eyes, Solomon's Lore Book. Imperial Order. Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't care that it's... Oh, it is rare. Okay, I'm winning. That's it. I needed that card. Oh, yes. I used to use this card all the time against my brother. This Imperial Order is what I'm talking about. These are the cards that I need in my deck. Those are the ones I'm cannibalizing. Off rip, I need those. All right. Taking them out of everything. That Imperial Order help. That Imperial Order just made me feel a little bit better. Because, man. All right. Uh, defense. Solemn Wishes. Ah, uh, man. Okay. So, I wish I was doing a little bit better. We got two more. Two more. And then we're going to try to put this 50-card deck together. And you guys got to let me know, is this going to suffice? Is my boy going to come through and smash me? Oh, pause. Is my boy going to come through and take over the game? Or what's going on? Nobleman. Woo! -hoo -hoo! This is what I'm talking about. Okay. I already got a Genzo. But no, I need this Genzo. I need this Genzo. That's the one I want. That's the one I want to bring out in the field. Ah, man. Okay, it's like a bittersweet. I wish I would have got... Okay, nah. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Imperial Order and Genzo. 
On oh no, I'm taking that. I'm taking that all day. That yo, Genzo was my favorite card. He was when Amplifier came out. I was the first one trying to make that Genzo work so my traps could work. I'm telling you right now. So yo, I love Genzo. Oh man, I am old school with it. Last pack. Magic Drain. I take it. A Magic Drain. Another one of these. Whew. All right. We got a lot of things to think about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through all of these cards that we have taken out and have all over the place. And I have the tins on the floor. We got everything, right? I'm going to take all of these things out. I'm going to find the best 50 cards that I can put together from all of this. And then it's up to you guys to let me know if you think it will be competitive. Do you think it was worth it? And do you think I'm going to win anything? So, BRB. All right, guys, here we are. And I got my 50 cards down packed. Am I 100% ecstatic about the cards I got? Not 100%, but I did better than I thought I was going to do. So let's see what happens. So we're going to start off with the monsters first. We'll work our way down. And maybe, you know, if you're well-versed in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can see already what kind of deck I'm going to try to put together. But um, this is what I'm working with for now. I could have went a couple of different routes. I could have put uh, Magicians together. Oh, wow. So Ash Blossom is not really from my era back in the days, but I play Yu-Gi-Oh online to this day right now. I was smoking somebody last night. And this card is like a necessity. You need hand traps. Hand traps wasn't a thing back then. You need three of these, and you need three like maxis, but whatever. I threw her in there. I have one. I'm definitely going to throw her in there. Sangin. Enraged Bottle Ox. Got two of these right here. Mad Dog of Darkness. I mean, 1900 or four stars and Voice Raider. You really can't beat that. Goblin Attack Force, 2300, four stars. I'll put them there all day. Cyber Dragon. This is a new one. I, didn't, I never saw this one before, but for four stars... And for 2,000 attack, with nothing really going on, no limitations, I'm taking that all day. I would have took three of these. Big Shield Garden, three Nimble Momongas, and that's straight out the Pegasus deck right there. Get me 3,000 points real quick. And then this is where it's going to start to get spicy. you probably like, okay, I see what he's doing. I'm going to run with a Kyber deck. It is what it is. Got to slap Genzo. I always have Genzo in there. And then I'm going to just run with the three blue eyes. You can't go wrong with three blue eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter of how you're going to get these tributes out because they're all two. But I have a bunch of things going on for this guy. So then we have the traps. Drowning Mirror Force is new to me, but it's something I want to try out. Evenly Match is kind of new too. But you know what? Mirror Force. Come on. It's a classic right there. Magic Cylinders. Magical hats. I mean, for nostalgia purposes, I really don't want them in my deck like that, but I don't have a better card to put in right now. So for now, I'll keep it um, for nostalgia purposes. Oh, wow. Magic Drain. Imperial Order. You saw that, man. I need that. We got some bottomless trap holes. We're going to get those guys. Negate Attack. Straight out the Kyber deck. We got some Call of the Haunted. We need those to bring these enemies. I mean, uh, my monsters back. Torrential Tribute. Then we start going with the Magics. We got Trade In. This is a new one to me, but it's going to go good because I'm basically running mostly a dragon deck. So let's see what's going on. Brain Control, got Tributes, Harpies, Feather Duster. Matter of fact, I'm running two of those. Brigade Key, Mystical Space Typhoon, Swords of Revealing Light, and I'm going to end that off with Monster Reborn. So I don't know. What you guys think? Do you guys think that this is something that I'm going to be able to play my friends with? and possibly come off winning i mean you know i don't know when's the last time my friends actually played this but you never know you know he might smoke me he might not smoke me am i gonna stand a chance is he gonna run through me like what do we got going on here right so these are the cards i got and i got all of these cards for 100 dollars. plus i have so many extra cards uh i can make probably two or three decks or I can make a couple of decks that I will have to switch out my magics and my traps with. But that's what I got going for now. You know what I mean? This is going to be my deck for now until I figure out how to get a couple of more cards. What's going to happen is I'm probably going to go to Walmart here and there and start seeing some spell ruler packs. Or if I see some old ones, I'll pick one up here and there. But for right now, for $100, 
I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like I could be in the conversation with somebody in the mix and we can play and have fun and I won't feel like I'm getting ran through. You know what I mean? Um, for a hundred dollars back in the day, that really wasn't doing nothing. I mean, I remember buying Injection Fairy Lily for like $25. Uh, Monster Be Born Hollows were going for $30 a pop, $40 a pop. Um, Snatch Deal was going for like $30. Um, things like that. I don't have those right now, but I, rem- I had those back then. And that $100 probably would have went on like three cards. So I'm not on it like that no more. This is where I'm at. You know, these are the cards I was able to pick up for $100. I want to thank you for sharing this time with me and helping me build this deck. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate that. Until next time. Peace.